Alright then, it is 503 on this 16th day of March 2021. I am the Grumpy Game Dev, and this is Aspirant of Splore. All my games are of Splore, because why not have a unifying game world? I mean, really. And we have a bunch of stuff checked out, so if things not building, that would be that'd be horrible. Let's see. Okay, so everything's up to date. Does it run everything run? Why did I not check in last time? Or did I not commit? Everything seems to be working. Yep. Everything seems to work in as much as anything works. So why did I not check in? And so what is it that I did? Ever adding added the editor room cell object context. I did. <laughs> So, go into the editor UI, well, the editor controls. So, how do I, how do we draw this? Oh, and then I refactored, okay, and I refactored the base controller. Okay, I remember now. I remember now. Now, draw all of the Get the editor context. What I don't have is I don't have the ability to get the editor context. I've got one of these things. Let's make this. Get room cell objects. I'll return that thing. And same point, except it's cast. I've got my room cell object. Project room list review. Look over here on Render. Oh, it's, it's thinking about it's thinking about it. It's thinking about it. And Get context. Get it for context. Dot room cell objects. The cell. I need the cell. The objects. Right on. So let's go auto. Let's grab the objects. Got them. 
was option. So that's that. So I'm going to say for for to object in objects. So then object and object. And uh, let's go with the size T row equals zero. And we're going to have what? Keep in you. Everything that is not pinned. Star, star, um, the graphics, XY, int, which, oh no, yep, 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 no, yep, int. We're going to have it, this is where you're going to draw it, and then, uh, what is, what is, is a scenario instance. So aspirin game scenario object. Const. Probably can. Wait for it. Let's get that going down here. And that does have to be const. And you have to be const. Boom. You are the XY and you are the instance. Right. So now I'm going to start to go, ooh, you know what? There starts to be a bit of a theme for how do I render an instance of something. And you are a. I don't know, you're three year old. You're a pretty old pointer. But we'll make you cast anyway. Draw the object. Draw object. Renderer. You say get plotter. Get plotter or get cell plotter. Plot zero row plus and option. Now I've got this thing for trying an instance. That's the exact same thing in my room cell renderer, which means I'm going to be duplicating some code. It really is exactly this function.
Let's do the no-no here. Hello? Okay, hold on. We've got a base class. We do. Hmm, okay, wait. Let me my base control. Got Sprite Manager. That's interesting. Let's put it here. I just need to bring in the terrain character and so yeah. Include, include creature descriptor. That finds that, so that finds all that. This should build, and then it should show over here. Take away, take away, take away this ball and chain. And I'm tired. Just yep, one of them songs, right? You know. Sticks there. Also with the uh Inchy McNerve. It's a song I sing at that point. Ah, come on now. Let's do it. Get it done. Okay, it we're, will fill it draw. Do we do it? So, do I have the thing? Zoom editor so odd. The context, I don't need that one. It is in the UI. Renderer, Editor UI, Navigate Room State Handler, do I have, yes I have that thing, so it should be rendering right over here, right over here, the map, start, editor, open that thing, open the room, open that one, okay, so there's that, there's that, that was me, yeah, okay. It takes forever to get these together. So, I've got a choice now. 
because I think this thing could be a um, Like here I am. Okay. And I'm here. So what's what's the gen what's the general sense I, I want us to have about how do my maps? Okay, I'm here in an editor. This isn't very very good for making a new map. I need to be able to select. I think there's a go that way. that way. We're going to switch that. That's cool though. I go here. Nope, 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 nope. And that's not right either. So actually, we're gonna go with column. That's one of these, one of these. And so I have an index stored in that context, right? So I do need to have what thing is selected. Cell object. So what have so get index. To get the sprite manager from, so we're going to do similar to here. But when you draw, when you draw the thing, draw mappers. Draw mappers. Oh, where's draw mappers? Object, draw cell, draw room, draw mapper. Draw that. Water. Oh, so there should be one on whichever one's at the top, or whichever one, whichever one's on the bottom. So I'll always at the zero.
and I would tab over to here in order to, so right now I'm in the mode where I'm changing that and then I would tab over to which one of these do I want uh, but so every single time I move in here single time I move around here when I move the cursor that cursor get editor um get rid of objects reset every time I've moved the cursor I need to do a reset on the cell object so that I can say oh well what we're doing here. Move cell objects context. Move cell objects context. We'll put it down. What happens? Next. So there's the get cell index equals What copper beardy? How you doing copper? Oh, is everything with you? Glad to see you. How's it? How's everything? How? How's everything with your balls? Get this. Um, rough. It's still rolling. Very important that they that they roll well. So let's say auto cell equal get cell. Get the cell. Right. Right. Now index equals cell. So, uh, get objects, count, size, yeah, size, otherwise, zero. Okay, so this should have actually go one past. Now, I'm working on my my Expert to Explore editor, the game that still does not have a, a an identity at all. It's got a tiny little four by four map. We don't know what it does yet. We we assume it's some sort of dungeon crawl because. Got a guy, walls, and a floor. But we don't know. We don't know anything about this game. Scads of code. We don't know what it's what it's all about. Open that. Open the room. Open that. Oh, oh, we need we need to reset here. We'll see now. It should say, "All right, you're adding something." That's what we do. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. So, 
Well, that, that took forever. That took an entire week. But, I think the way did my base control. Ah, so, let's, okay, so it works. The cell object for room cell editor control works. Now needs a refactor. Now needs to be brought down into my editor base control. Both room renderer and room cell object renderer, there is a draw object. So in my under base control, we're going to need that. Means that are base control. A new item called base control. That's P. And include editor. Going to wait. We're going to wait for IntelliSense. There we go. Editor base control dot h. That's what we want. Name space aspirants editor controls. So then, we'll take this lovely draw object function right here. Take that. Into edit base control. Not editor base control. Editor base control. That's a completely different file, editor base control. You figure that out. It's working real. Real hard. I, I do. I woke IntelliSense up, which which means that IntelliSense does not like re refactoring in the slightest. So there ain't no, there ain't no that. Okay. And the renderer also gets because I duplicated the function. And if we duplicate the function. We don't like duplicating. Don't repeat yourself. I, I believe that's why you love Resharper. Okay, so that's now in the base class. And we'll, we'll wait. Still, still waiting. What are we doing? What are we doing? Doing a thing. Okay. Hold. Okay, so now this needs. I don't think it's necessary anymore in the other two. I don't think I need this one any longer. Turning this bridge. Wait for it. Are we okay, are we okay then? Controls, controls. There's a thing called draw object. I did. It's right here. You can tell us that it just doesn't. It just doesn't know. 
It doesn't know. It thinks, oh, it didn't, it didn't do that one? An editor base control. Let me go over here to editor base control. Uh, am I in the same namespace? I should be in the same, name, the same namespace. It's not going to believe in IntelliSense. We're not going to believe the unit. Oh, nope, it doesn't like it. So what did I fail to do? Did, oh, did I not make it const? Well, it's const, so. Render x, y, and const. Not wow. I beg to differ. I beg to differ. Don't know what I missed, and that's fine. I don't know what the difference is. Between that code and the code I just had. I don't know. But it, the Visual Studio seems fine with it, so we'll just be like, ah, here, here, uh, enjoy, my, enjoy my sacrifice of a basket of fruit to Visual Studio. I need to slay a goat and sprinkle blood on my monitor. Please let me know. That's apparently the type of voodoo programming we're doing. Okay, so. Uh, object into editor base control. So here we are. Say that it works. That should work. Start editor. Open. Open that scenario. Open a room. Open that room. And we can see the things. Yeah, great. Ah. Well, we have that. So now we need to be able to switch. Let's make a something where I can move that thing back and forth. Got that, I've got that, and I want what I want to do is have a another uh, selector for so let's talk let's look at it and talk about it. But this part of the screen is for moving around. This part of the screen is for what is here so that I can go in and further do detailed work or say, no, no, we're just going to keep adding stuff. And then over, then over here, we need to have, um, so the rest of this, I don't even know, Let's bring up calc. I don't even know how big. All right, so let's let's start. Wait a minute. Stop here. 
not that one. The reason. Okay. Got in here some uh, layouts. What's the thing? So much stuff. Uh, thanks. That's what I wanted to do. I think that's not where it is. Where did we, where did we put that? Application. So an application, the logical width is 640 and the logical height is 360. Yeah, very important. I'm doing with playing Stella. So 640 divided by 36 is 17.9. Oh, okay. So 17. So I can have at least, I can have as much as seven things, really six, if I want to have the one on the end. So seven times nine. So seven times nine for my. Now I'm going to want not a room, room renderer, fill object renderer, it's a uh, object select renderer. <laughs> so, alright, object select renderer. Add item. Right, um, select. Select door renderer renderer. Select a renderer. And you are in namespace aspirant uh, editor controls class object select script okay. So you're a descriptor selector. Everybody know everybody everybody realizes that, right? It's a descriptor selector renderer. Descriptor select descriptor selector renderer. Yeah. And my descriptor selector renderer. Mm. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of things. Uh, one, we're going we're going to bring in uh, editor base control. H. And you are going to come publicly from editor base control. Because we need we need draw objects so public. Add this renderer. And we're going to need to draw. Oh, and we need a draw function. Yes. We HUD do. It is still thinking about it. So, my descriptor selector renderer is going to be on all of these things. The thing that drives this, one of the things that this certainly needs, I'm going to have to have an editor context and a sprite manager because these things await.
thinking about it. Thinking about, thinking about selecting these one. Ooh. Any time, not at all. Okay, all right, yeah. Keep your other sector thingy there. That I need those things, right? Right. So, I'm going to get descriptor selector renderer dot h going. Descriptor selector renderer dot cpp. Bring in descriptor selector renderer dot h. Editor controls. Let's bring these things in. Let's stub this stuff out. Blah blah blah. And I do need a plotter. That's true. I need a plotter. Uh, descriptor selector plotter. The descriptor selector plotter, I'll just make one of these here. Take that one, put it up here. Called the descriptor selector plotter. 360 plus that, you're going to be 36. 36. Well, now, well, now here's, here's a thing, right? Six plus and position get y. times thirty six. We got magic numbers. So then, so anything over here, x and y, will be all that. Or something? No. Right. Fine. Okay. Oh, right. So, boom, boom. Nope. Just boom. Just like so. Everything's fine. Everything can. Everything builds, constructs, whatever. So I need a descriptor selector renderer. The descriptor selector renderer needs to go over to the edit navigation. <laughs> Yeah. It costs us for its editor. The editor controls on this thing. Descriptor selector render. I need to bring that in. Descriptor selector renderer. There we are. Descriptor selector renderer. Meh. Meh, meh, meh. And we'll figure it out eventually. And we're going to need one of these.
comma. There you go. Let's get that over here. Edit this. Internet. Uh, 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 comma. One of these. Oh, didn't need to do that. Descriptor. Selector. Renderer. Let's say that. That thing is that thing. So then I have to go and put that into my descriptor selector renderer each. And we need another one. That one on here. All the that here. Take them on the end. That and it takes these things, these things, and this thing. Getting pretty long, so we're gonna verticalize it. Uh, not before the count, after the count. Come on, descriptor, select a renderer. Walk in. So, how does that all, how is that all, that's all wired in? In in reality, here on my it's still what don't you like now? It's probably fine. So when I draw, um, descriptor select a renderer. Draw renderer. Okay, so now I have it drawing. I just don't have. I just doesn't do anything when it draws. The scripter, this well, the scripter selector renderer is completely wired in to the editor. But so now what I need is I need the in the editor context the data goes there. That's the only place where stuff. Um, is Ooh, okay. Well, but we can commit. Well, if we, if we build, we can commit because it's it's roughed in. That might be as far as we get to, other than making a. At least getting getting a context class in here. Okay, so that builds. Does does it run? Start editor open that one. Open the room. That one. Yeah, so it's still a so the thing is saying render each time. It's telling it to draw. It just didn't do anything. That's a good spot. So, roughed in control for selecting a script or moment. So, ooh, man. So, what I need next is I need an editor, descriptor selector, context. Item. Okay. Editor, descriptor, selector, context. Do the name of you, name space, uh, aspirant, editor, context, context, and 
you are class editor descriptor selector context and that's what you are I know that there's a one of you in here I know that you exist uh, <clears throat> descriptor selector so that's here to get the context and we say don't know how to construct you yet so we're just gonna make a magic one It's all cool, but so we also have to be able to. Get, we also have to include editor descriptor selector context. We have to make a little getter function. Get descriptor. Turn the descriptor selector. Now I make the const version. Nice and lovely. Very good. Yay, first. But now, what goes in it? What goes in it? What is my. I definitely need what's in here. Do we have descriptors? We don't have descriptors, do we? We do. We have the scenario descriptor manager. What does that thing do? Our descriptor manager. Go to scenario descriptors. Is this this is the thing? Does the definition of you? Okay. No. No. I don't want scenario descriptors. No. I don't want a scenario descriptor. I want a descriptor descriptor. And in this game, in here, the file, we've got descriptor manager, which is different than scenario descriptor manager. It's just descriptor manager. And that's things that, that generate these things. So that's good. So I need that thing. And public. You have to include that. H. Winter. Make a small assumption here. Game descriptor manager with the cons. Uh, descriptors. Well, we don't need to call it anything just yet. We don't. We just need that thing. So, this then. This then goes into the editor descriptor context thingy. Render. FX. Did I make one? No, I didn't make one yet. Of course, I didn't make one yet. Edit file. Oh. Include editor descriptor selector context name name space name precise space aspirant editor de 
BitTor controls. Just have to cut the dude. Credits. Descriptors. That here. Okay, don't want that. Descriptor. And we say initialize descriptors with the value in descriptors doors and that should be all groovy right and this undoubtedly won't build but it doesn't really matter because I've got to go I'll deal with this momentarily because I have to go wake people up get people ready for school and all the other Fun things. Beardy, you forgot to turn off your stream. Taco Bell's quesalupa is back with its cheese stuff. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Viblez. You need to watch me do my convoluted C++ programming. We're gonna raid Crass. Thanks so much for hanging out. Uh, get off my lawn.